Hello there, this is Critical from Critical Media. Just taking a look at the 2023 standard hardcover release of Night Fever. This is a book from Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips, that awesome pairing from Image Comics in this case. And what we usually do at this channel is give you an idea of what to expect if you ever come across these books in the wild. So we go over the exterior, some bonus material, art and plot points, and then a brief review at the end. Now, this particular book, uh, if you're familiar with this pairing, uh, Brubaker and Phillips, yeah, they're like a match made in heaven. You know, they did the criminal series, Fatal. Um, they did Killer Be Killed, ridiculously good. And they're currently doing that uh, Reckless series. You know, they're coming out like episodically. Uh, but this book kind of is released sandwiched in between all of those Reckless books. Um, it has nothing really to do with it, the narrative. It's its own independent IP, but still, it's definitely an interesting read. And in this case, uh, for the walk around the hardcover here, as mentioned, it's the standard hardcover in this case. So I do appreciate the finish, as always, with Image Comics. I always love the way they approach books. It's a nice flat design, very muted. Of course, going with black and white, I guess, yeah. They really have to make sure the white really pops. And, you know, just your typical accolades. So, I mean, not really much going on in the exterior. But uh, in terms of bonus material... Again, uh, not really much going on either. However, a very intriguing afterward. Um, as a matter of fact, even Brubaker, it's from Brubaker himself, this afterward, uh, even mentions how he basically wrote this because he needed a break from writing the, the Reckless series. And go figure, a writer, his form of taking a break is writing another kind of story. So go figure, right? Uh, but very intriguing in that sense. But yeah, like I mentioned, not really much going on. Um, surprisingly for a hardcover, you're actually seeing promotional material. Something you don't usually see in hardcovers that often. Um, but yeah, oh, speak of the devil, kill or be killed. Man, I've been st I'm still hunting that book. Uh, but anywho, yeah, just your typical bios and whatnot. But there you go. Now for art and plot points, I mean, what's the story about? Um, it's kind of uh, one of those kind of, um, what's the word, those kind of dream sequences where you get to live out someone else's life kind of thing. So it, it does experiment with that idea. So it predominantly just follows this character, John Webb. Uh, he's basically a book salesman, or should I say he takes in orders for his publisher on upcoming releases. And poetically, he goes to Europe often and stays at this hotel, Hotel Terminus. Yes, as mentioned, very poetic, considering each close point of the series. And yeah, he's pretty much your archetype everyman, you know? Like, he has the nuclear family. He seems to have done it right. You know, even his colleagues kind of make fun of him for having, like, the perfect kind of life at home. You know, wife, two kids kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of a man who's just seeing things as a... Um, you know, everything's kind of become boring or mundane to him. He's looking for something a bit more out of life. Um, and through some sort of happenstance, he's just, you know, laying about on, on town in, in this European city. And he comes across these, yeah, very masked folks. And, you know, just for a sense of adventure, he begins to follow them. And he ends up in this whole, like, I guess, second world, you could say. This world of the uh, bourgeois. You know, he's a member of the bourgeoisie, but... Yeah, he's seeing what the elite are really up to. They go to these masked uh, par parties. There's a lot of debauchery and whatnot going on. Uh, but he basically assumes the identity of a, yeah, just this random person. He just sees a name on the list. It says Griffin, and he just assumes that man's identity. And what I like about it is he doesn't abuse the, this kind of persona. You know, usually when you read stories of somebody assuming someone else's identity... Like, they do something that will basically cause a lot of conflict from the person they're imitating or whatever. Um, but one thing I like is that Brubaker doesn't go with that cliche. If anything, he gives the money back. Like, he avoids any sort of problem at the end of it. But he gets his taste of this, you know, bourgeois life, this elitism kind of life here. Um, but then the world just completely changes, as you can see. And he's brushed up with this very hedonistic kind of aspect, this almost enabling character in the form of Rainer. Uh, this European who basically takes him under his wing, can't help but like him. And yeah, he basically introduces him to this second world, uh, this nightlife, you could say. And you'll notice with Sean Phillips, he, his anatomies are always consistent. That's one thing about Sean Phillips. He's not avant-garde at all, I would say. But he knows exactly how 
to go about his presentation. Very on point, I'll say that about him. Because, yeah, anatomies, wardrobe, lighting, positioning, choosing the right kind of uh, shots. That's definitely like Sean Phillips' definite, definite uh, what's the word, skill or mastery. No wonder Brew Baker tends to work with him often. But, yeah, you're just getting this uh, idea that uh, this guy, John Webb, he keeps getting a taste of this other life, like what could be. Um, but he keeps making the smart decision. Like, he doesn't sleep with this random woman. He doesn't, you know, gamble with somebody else's money. He does the smart things. He still wants some connection to his normal life. But this Rainer character keeps egging him on, egging him on. So it's like, how much of it do you really... What's the word? How much of your own life do you see as perfect or something's missing, you know? Uh, and, yeah, th through the same vehicle character, definitely appreciate that. You get to experience that with him. Like, you get to also see yourself in this character. Like, what would you do in these kind of situations? Um, even to the point where now he's bucking with his original life, his original bosses and whatnot. But, nonetheless... Uh, the story definitely ends up becoming very, very more uh, heightened toward the end. A definite, you, I would say this, it has a very noir and pulpish fashion, as you can see with the uh, color motif. You'll notice uh, Sean Phillips really did employ that throughout it. He wanted that, that kind of aesthetic, so good on him. Um, yes, it is a bit mature, hence the language, and yes, there are certain pages with nudity and whatnot. So, for mature readers, I'll say, but men... I will say that this was a breath of fresh air, this whole entire narrative, even up until like you reach a certain point where you're like, wait, what, aliens? It, again, it's like you're, you're, you have to turn off your brain at certain points and realize, is it a dream? Is it just him tripping on some sort of drug or whatnot, some narcotic? Is he just living out these fantasies of jealousy because he has this beef with this celebrity here? Um, and also this murder mystery angle, very unique in that sense. Yeah, it's definitely a unique read. I would recommend this absolutely just to read. To own, it's up to you. In terms of ownership, yeah, I'll leave that one definitely in your uh, wheelhouse. But this is definitely an intriguing read. Like, uh, I've already read it a few times. There's just something about it that makes me come back to it. The book only came out a few weeks ago relative to the release of this video. But, yeah, there's just something about it. I guess because you could see your parts of yourself in this character, John Webb. It's intriguing enough. And the ending, while it does all kind of put pieces back together, I'll admit, it still makes you reflect. And that's a gift that Brubaker has. Telling these grounded stories that you can't help but see parts of yourself in these characters, these archetypes that are laid out through the story and through the narrative. Very on-point book. Um, if I had to give it a score, you know what, Maybe, mainly because I say you don't have to own it, maybe just read it and then, you know, take it for what you will, I'd give it an 8. It's definitely a strong release, a great package from Image Comics, they get the two thumbs up, but as usual, it's not so much about me at this point, it's more about your opinion at the end of the day, and I wouldn't mind hearing yours in the comments down below, nonetheless. Y'all folks take care, enjoy the rest of your day.